Welcome to another edition of Minute Math on ConstructorsCorner.com. Now what we're looking at here is a graph of a parabola, enlarged. And we have the equation up here of what the parabola is that we determined from the values of logarithmic spiral, which the logarithmic spiral was determined by prime numbers. Every pi radians turn on the spiral, the radius of the logarithmic spiral equals the next prime number in the series. So what does that mean? Well, it's a very simple fact. It means it means that for every turn right here, that would be two. And that was the distance of pi radians. The next turn, boom, down here. No the that would be here, rather. Here, rather, it would be 3. Next turn. Here would be four, 5. 5, 7, and so forth. So now, now that we have that here, from 0, at the start, from 0, we go along this curve, the exact length of the curve, not the values of x and y, the exact length of the curve, we go to 3, and that would be this length of this line right here would be a length of pi. Then from 0 to 5 would be 2 pi. From 0 to 7 would be 1.5 pi. And you see, you see, it's very simple, very easy. This, it's very easy to do graphically. The trick is finding the mathematics of the values of the logarithmic spirals, the radius of the logarithmic spirals. But you can use any angle, and you get the, and it should work for any series that you set up with the values to be every, every pi. And, um, I think that's just about all. That's how simple this is. See, math doesn't have to be complicated. This is Minute Math. Thank you.